Cafe. So what is Chinese? What is being Chinese? What is not Chinese? Other Chinese is a unique piece of theatre that seeks to unravel the answers to these questions. Now to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe its creator and director Alice Canton and producer Julie Zhu. Good morning. Yes. Yes. So great to have you here. Um, Alice, so it's a very unique piece of work. work. You've created it through real conversations with with New Zealanders. So how does it how did it actually work? Well, um, think of it as a documentary in that you've got real people, you're interviewing people, people are sharing their stories, but it's live. So you're in the theatre watching this all unfold in real time. Like a live documentary? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Wow. So it's made up of entirely of Chinese storytellers from the community and they're not actors, is that correct? Yeah, in yeah. fact, some of them have never even done public speaking before. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, and I guess that's a, an opportunity for them to tell these stories. So uh, it's not um, writing it down in a transcript and then giving it to an actor, it's getting them to tell their own truth. So Julie, how did you actually find these people to tell their stories? Um, we just did a massive call out, um, put it on social media, uh, did some interviews on Chinese media, Twitter. We tried everything we could just to get as many people as we wanted, uh, as we could, because Alice wanted like a hundred people on stage. Of course, Alice. Yeah. Yeah. So we were aiming big. Um, yeah, and we were just really surprised at how many people actually registered for our workshops. Um, so many people just want to tell their stories and want to explore what it means to be Chinese, I guess. And, yeah. and that, I mean, that's a huge challenge that you've both taken on there. Yeah. Has it been hard getting people that aren't traditionally actors to tell their stories on stage? Yeah, I think it's been a really long process for us, but um, I think Alice is really deft at kind of crafting storytelling and um, the way she's worked with the, um, not the actors, the kind of the cast, the storytellers, um, has really been kind of supporting them all the way through and making sure that they're comfortable sharing kind of, sometimes they're quite personal details, some really provocative things come out, so um, I think she's held that really well. Wow, yeah. so Alice, well how on earth, I mean you don't do things by halves do you? Mm -hmm. So you've got a, like a rotating cast, it's not the same people on stage each night. Um, yeah, so we've got a core cast yeah. who sort of, um, they have the key stories in the show. Um, and then we have this ensemble cast, which we say every night, if you want to participate, here's the stage door, come and sign in pre-show, and then you are in the show that night. Oh, so that makes it obviously very easy for you to work with them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea who will turn up. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and I guess that's the kind of the magic of this show, is you, every show is going to be different. Mm. Um, it, we never know what kind of opinions might come out from people and that's just kind of great. Yeah. Having the ability to I guess curate the stories, have you learnt what being Chinese is? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> right. <okay. laughs> yeah. So um, the, the parts that I felt really touched by is when someone sees a story and the whole room goes, my mum does that too. Or, oh my gosh, I have an auntie like that. Um, and then the moments where someone says something and everyone is very quiet <laughs> and then looks at the person and like, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. You're on, you're on there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yes. So, yeah. So, Julie, what has been one of the more interesting stories for you that's come out of this? Um, oh, there's so many. I think we've just got such a range of people that um, all the stories are quite different as well as those similarities. Like we've got um, someone who's a new mum who talks about um, how having her baby who's kind of mixed race um, Chinese, how that's kind of um, pushed her to start exploring her Chinese side so that she can give that um, legacy kind of down to her daughter. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the stories. Um, what else? We have so many. Oh, there are so, yeah. Uh, hundred or so. Yeah. 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 yeah, only like a hundred. Um, okay, well, look, you, you might be able to answer this now from having worked with this, but, you know, there's a lot of talk with housing and, you know, I guess the Chineseness of that discussion, if even that's a word, yeah. um, <laughs> helps build relationships with different factions. So, so have you felt that thread running through some of, you know, the performers? Mm. Yeah. I think there's a... Um, even if people, like maybe socially or politically don't agree on certain things, what it does is create a space for conversation. Right. And because it's a safe space, because it's not a, um, a space that's kind of charged with negative kind of energy, people can be really honest. And um, there's a real beauty in that, in people saying, this is what I feel, or this is my experience. Mm -hmm. So a really important piece of work, Julie. Yes, I think so. And I think we are 
kind of politically mo um, motivated in a way and that um, the climate has become really charged with lots of negativity t um, directed towards Chinese people and Chinese people kind of being lumped in one group so mm. um, that's why we wanted to show like look we have all these complexities of opinions and that's okay and we shouldn't be treated as one kind of You're not just all one sum. same person yeah. that's mm. exactly right a, a documentary on stage I mean that's going to yeah. be really an undertaking I can see you going it's going to be great <laughs> 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 it'll be fine it sounds wonderful and exciting and I think everyone will learn something thank you so much for coming in guys yeah best of luck thank you so yeah. much other Chinese plays from 6th to the 16th September at the Q Theatre loft for details you can visit qtheatre.co.nz